Asthma versus COPD is one of the most high yield topics for the USMLE that is almost guaranteed to show up on your USMLE exams. Since so many of students get this wrong, let's break it down. Here are three key differences you need to know about asthma versus COPD to get questions right on the USMLE. First, who gets what? Asthma tends to be young patients and they have an atopic history and the symptoms are episodic. On the other hand, COPD happens in older patients who are smokers and it is progressive, not episodic. Second, now here's what USMLE loves, the acute ex exacerbation question. So if you see a patient who has acute exacerbation in these conditions, you will see wheezing, dyspnea, low O2, and you'll have to pick the next step. For both, the first line treatment is the same. So you will pick oxygen, bronchodilator, and steroids. But there's a big difference in how you give them. So for asthma, you give nebulized albuterol, and if they're not improving, you will give steroids, and then probably consider magnesium sulfate. The indication for intubation is rising CO2. Now for COPD, the management is you start with controlled oxygen, and you're targeting 88 to 92% saturation. Why? Because too much oxygen kills their hypoxic drive, which leads to CO2 retention, acidosis and eventually coma. Then you add albuterol plus apratropium along with systemic steroids. If it is severe, you give non-invasive ventilation before you jump to intubation. Third, now let's hit acid-base differences between the two, which is an NBME favorite. So in asthma attack, early on, you get respiratory alkalosis because they're hyperventilating. But later during the episode when they tire out, they get respiratory acidosis and that's exactly when you intubate. COPD, on the other hand, the baseline is chronic respiratory acidosis with metabolic compensation. They are never in respiratory alkalosis. 